Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and the Days of Summer event has finally hit Black Ops 3. It will be running from today, July 11th, until Tuesday, August 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific. What is this event going to entail? So to start, the Awakening DLC is going to become free to play for everybody throughout the duration of the event. So three weeks once again ending on August 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific. If you already own the Awakening DLC, then you will be getting double experience while playing on the Awakening DLC maps. If you play on PC, this is even sweeter because the DLC has been free for a while now, all the Black Ops 3 DLC. And again, as an added bonus, you'll be getting double experience while playing on DLC maps that you actually own. They've added a couple of new things to supply drops. So to start, the AN-94 from Black Ops 2 is making its return, known as the KBK-99M. And the China Lake is also returning, this time being called the Max GL. Once again, these are supply drop weapons, therefore you have to get lucky to be able to acquire them. There's also a timed exclusive camp ammo called Cherry Fizz that is also only available through Supply Drops and apparently is going to be removed after one week. Treyarch is also apparently going to be doing other special events on different days. So here's a schedule of the first week of the Black Ops 3 Days of Summer. On the 14th and 15th, it looks like Gun Game will be giving out double crypto keys. Zombies Chronicles maps have also been receiving updates. So this actually happened yesterday but just went live today on PC. So the M1911 pistol is now the starting pistol on Zombies Chronicles maps. The AK-74U is now able to be used, and of course, they're also going to be updating different areas of certain maps. So, for example, the STG-44 and the MP-40 are now wall buys on specific maps where they were originally wall buys back in the day. They've been replacing some of the Black Ops 3 weapons, and just in general, lots of different supply drop weapons are available in Zombies maps. For example, the Galil or the PPSH. These are guns that were added to Black Ops 3 supply drops. Well, they're now able to be played in zombies via the box. Now, I get that they've been there for a while, but I want to make sure everyone's kind of aware of this and make sure everyone knows that the AK-74U is now available in the box. I tried to get it. I played some Kino this afternoon. I kept hitting the box over and over and over trying to acquire it to get some gameplay for you guys, but I was not lucky enough to actually get it. And unfortunately, I've got a lot of legal stuff happening today. If you guys follow me on Twitter, somebody hit my car last night in a hit and run. So dealing with insurance and police and stuff like that today. So not a lot of fun there, but yes, like Ops 3's Days of Summer event has begun. Not really a ton going on, but it's going to be lasting for a couple of weeks, and as such, they're probably going to be adding some more interesting things there. I just wish they would go ahead and basically cater to people that have already purchased the DLC a little bit more. Like, if you've never purchased the DLC, it's pretty awesome that you get to play Awakening for free, right? That's pretty great. But if you already purchased the DLC, what, you get double XP while playing on those specific maps? I feel like they should give out something a little bit better. We're gonna have to see how it plays out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all so much for watching and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.